Bluetooth microphone. <laughs> Where are my glasses? Back up! I don't up. want to come back this way. <laughs> few prepared announcements that Susan has made for me to tell about. So, Sue, you got that paperwork? I love it. Uh, no, 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 no. We're, we're not going through all this. And we're going to have to add a little bit. He's a prop puppet now. You really seriously <laughs> thought that much about yourself to make like 27 pages? Back up, Ron! Back up, Ron! Back up! Back up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eileen and I and the boys would like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy life to share this very special day with Susan and us. Especially Michael's people. Came all the way out from Mississippi. Damn, it's, it's, it's difficult enough driving around here, let alone come out from Mississippi. They like to drive so much that they made the wrong turn and drove around the Beltway twice. Okay, anyway. I want to remind you as we go on to have a good time. And I want all of you to get home safely. So drink responsibly. <laughs> There you go. I'm going to tell you a little story. It's a little one. It's not too awful long. Yeah, right. When Eileen was pregnant with that first child, and this was before the time of sonograms, we had no idea. It was a complete and total surprise. I was, I want a boy. I want a boy. I want a boy. I want a boy. We had a boy. He's the oldest boy. <laughs> Two years down the road, I started to say again, I want a boy, I want a boy, I want a boy. Bam. Had Casey. Yeah! Another boy. <laughs> Eighteen months later, I said, God, it's time I think I want a little girl. <laughs> and after a 15-minute ride, that's right, from here to Southern Maryland Hospital Center, a 15-minute ride, I was pretty cool about it. Eileen was kind of like, you better get along. We had a little baby girl. And that baby girl is right here today. When she was delivered, the doctor handed her to me. Pink. Perfect. I'm counting. Ten toes, ten fingers. All right, we're good. Everything's good. And her eyes opened up through the day of light. And she looked at me. Changed my life forever. And those of you that are family members realize the importance of her name. She was named after my sister. That we lost early on. She put her hands, her fingers, her hand around my fingers. And that, that, that was just it. God bought us this later on. With two more strong, strapping boys. That's Jake right. and Luke. That's right. Not only are they strapping, they're a total handful. <laughs> Especially Luke. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it worked out well. I said, you know, we got two boys to tattle on her when she's assing up. And two boys to take care of business when business needs to be taken care of. That's right. So as life went on, it was good. I asked Susie, I said, Sue, God, make Sue like your mother. Sweet, funny, caring. And he did. And those of you that know Eileen realize that she is sweet, funny, caring. And she has a high tolerance to BS or she wouldn't have stayed married to me for 34 years. Amen. 
But along the way, I got a little bit worried about her safety because I knew there's sharks in the water, like me. And I said, hmm, God, you need to make her loud, sassy, bossy. And he did that too. <laughs> She's an amazing mixture, Michael Poole, of sweet and sour. <laughs> yeah. Then the good Lord saw put a little bit of himself in her. And he made her a nurse. And not only any kind of nurse, but an ER nurse, like her mom. An ER nurse, for those of you that don't know, is opinionated. Strong, bossy. They've got a slippin' phrase, flippin', phrase. Treat them and straight them. Makes them sound tough, cold. But I know four ER nurses. My wife, Eileen, my daughter, Susan, my two daughter-in-laws, April and Tracy. And they're sweet, they're kind, and they have the biggest hearts in the whole world. They see the worst days in a person's life. They hold the hands of people as they leave this world. And every now and then, they come home so thrilled. They make a difference, either medically or emotionally. Certainly, God made ER nurses. Very early in life, Sue attached a tiara to her head and became our self appointed princess. I was telling a group of business associations one time that Sue wanted to wear a tiara to Carl's wedding. And her mother scolded her and said, You can't do that. It's April's day. She's the one. And the lady looked at me and says, Oh, how sweet. How old is your daughter? And I said, 23. <laughs> yeah. We have princess issues in our house. We spoiled her, Michael Paul. And we really don't know how it happened. But I wouldn't change one day of it. I do it all over again, exactly the same. It's your job to continue what we start. I do have some advice from Mary. Two mottos that I live by every day. Susan, these were given to me by your by my father, your grandfather. Work. Like you're going to live forever and pray like you're going to die tomorrow and never let the sun set on an argument. Every day of marriage is not easy. There will be times when you're so mad at each other that you don't want to be in the same room. But if you never have those bad days, you won't have the opportunity to realize how great the good ones are. Somewhere in this tent are our cousins, Ed and Anna James. 70 years they've been married. I guarantee you. They've had the bad ones and the good ones. I want the two of you to care the love that you feel each fulfill for each other today throughout your entire lives. From this point on, you'll never be alone. You'll have a best friend to laugh with, cry with, and build a life with. When I'm long gone from this world, and you're wrinkled, gray, and saggy, I want you to still see each other as you see today. Just when I look at this beautiful bride of mine, where is she? Where's my beautiful bride? There she is. Yeah. 
And when I look at you, a beautiful bride, I still see that little girl that ran after me when I walked out the door to go to work, saying, bye-bye, Daddy. Don't fall off the road. <laughs> Subi, as you enter down this new road of your life, with a group, great difficulty, I say to you, bye-bye, Subi. Don't fall off the road. <laughs>